Uy, kakaiba tong gabi na to. Um, sige, Father, we pray, Lord, that uh, as we uh, talk about the gospel, as we uh, discuss, Lord, chapter uh, chapter 8, which is there to be different, Lord, you would open our eyes to see more of Jesus in the life of Caleb. We yearn, Lord, for revelation from you, Holy Spirit, that you would open our eyes to see as we listen to your word tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I am so excited because <laughs> you would never think that um, this is going to be the way that uh, we're going to discuss chapter 8. Chapter 8 na to eh, actually, di ba? Ella, tama. Kasi seven yung ano eh. So anyway, so day one, there to be different, base camp two. So let's review si Caleb. Kasi yung chapter is, uh, is chapter begins with um, numbers 14. Uh, but I would like to begin first with yung timeline ni Caleb. Para makita natin yung ano, makita natin yung yung context ng yung context ng buhay ni uh, nung, nung chapter at saka yung what is it in this this man's life which is a uh, very very uh hindi lang interesting eh, which is uh, i think a uh, landmark uh, a post that needs to be studied uh, not only today but needs to be examined um further ganyan Kasi ano yun, daming lessons eh. Anyway, one of the lessons, one of the facet actually, at makikita mo dito yung lesson ng gospel. Actually, it's the, the, the Bible is, uh, even though uh, the Bible is discussing a person, um, it's all about Jesus. So in jo Joshua 14.7, it says, I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea. So remember yung lesson natin um, previously, they reach in 14 months Kadesh Barnea. But they went around Kadesh Barnea for a total of 40 years. Nandun sila before they went into promised land. So including yung 14 months. So when they were in Kadesh Barnea, 40 years old si Caleb, to spy out the land and I brought back word to him as it is was in my heart. Yan. And then you will see in Joshua 14.10, And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive. As he said, this 45 years. So 40 plus 45. So ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness, now he now here I am this day, this day, 85 years old. So gusto ko lang ma- kasi napapasa natin ito lagi, pero ginawa ko siyang uh, time frame para makita natin yung we we can see our lives here, lalo dun sa mga, ta lalo dun sa mga tayo na may mga inaantay. Di ba? So si Caleb ay 40 years old. Na in Kadesh Marnea, when he was sent as a spy, and when and when the word was given to him that he will inherit Hebron, di ba? And then 85, and then sinabi dun sa pagka, sinabi dun later, but uh, they, they're about to enter the promised land. And then 85 years old siya, so a total of 45 years of waiting. Ah, in the wilderness some more, right? So, tingnan natin uli. So, si Caleb, no, in Numbers 14.24, so, Nakita natin, na, 45 years of waiting. Waiting, man. 45 years. Tayo nga, ilang, ano eh. <laughs> Ako, ilang, ilang, um, ano na, uh, magto two years. Actually, two years na. 45 years of waiting. Ganyan. So, so meron ba tayong mga inaantay? Yan. So, makita natin yung sagot dito. So, sabi ka sa numbers 1424. So, dun sa 45 years na ito, yung waiting na yun, Yan yung context ng Numbers 14.24. But my servant Caleb, because compared to the others, they all also experienced 45 years of waiting, right? Everybody. But then sabi ni Lord, but my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit in him, number one, and has followed me fully, number two, and therefore I will bring into the land where he went and his descendants shall inherit it. So, doon na nga yung nangyari, hiningi niya yung Hebron, di ba, kay, kay Joshua. So, isa-isahin natin, he has a different spirit in him. Number two, he has wholly followed me. He has followed me fully. And then, ang consequence nun, o yung outcome niyan, yung, uh, he has a different spirit and has wholly followed me. 
I will bring into the land where he went and his descendants shall inherit it. So hindi lang siya, no? Including his descendants. Hallelujah. So tingnan natin sa interlinear because this is going to be re major revelation. So different spirit in him. So ito yan, di ba? Different spirit. So yung words na different spirit. So makikita mo na dyan, yung different spirit is either a spirit, the spirit of adoption as sons, which is uh, when you have the spirit of adoption as son, you don't, you, you don't recognize and see yourself as a slave. And therefore, you do not fear. Even though you are in a period of waiting. Diba yung waiting kasi, um, it, it, you know, it's, it's, a, some, it's a reality. It's a fact. But sabi ni Lord, set your minds on things above. How do you how do you set your minds on things above that you died and your life now is hidden with Christ in God? During that period of waiting, I submit to you, yung different spirit in him, is Caleb saw himself not as a slave compared to the ten spies and the, the entire nation of Israel at that time. Of course, excluding uh, uh, Moses and Joshua. In in uh, in Romans, so that so different spirit, no, so dalawa lang yun. It's either you have the spirit of uh spirit of a, the sonship or spirit of a slave that you see yourself as a slave. So iba yung servants as slave, ba? iba yun. Kasi si si Lord nga, di ba siya yung servant of servants, right? Servant leadership, so iba yun. So in Romans 8.15, it's very, very clear. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear because the spirit of slavery, which is, uh, you see everything that is, you see everything contingent on your doing, on what you're going to do. You have to please the Lord. You have to do this, etc., etc. I need to do this so that it will be uh, this outcome, etc. Then it's 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 a life of uh it's a life of fear. But you but rather the Lord is saying to you and I, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom you can cry, Abba, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. So the spirit of adoption as sons is it's it's one that you know a heart that cries Abba, that runs to the Father. It doesn't run away from the Father, but it runs to the Father. So, uh, again, uh, when you did not receive, and, and Caleb, I, uh, uh, Caleb saw himself as this, saw, saw himself as not a slave compared to the, um, did, you, did you know that um, this is something that, that is um, um, very, very spiritual? You know, uh, uh, you know the, the years of slavery that the entire nation of Israel went through in Egypt, 200 years. Mas, ma mas mahaba tayo, no? Ang Pilipinas, 365. Tama ba? 300 plus years. Sila, 200. So, mahirap i-break yun. But, you know, so, so, kita mo dito na, ah, oh, Caleb saw himself not a slave, not as a slave, but a son. So, okay, spirit of slavery, tingnan natin, ano? Yung, yung word dyan is duleya. So yung 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 spirit of yung spirit of slavery gusto ko lang i-quote dito yung Thayer's Greek lexicon is a life that is on the account of the grievous burdens that is imposed upon its adherents so it's a it's a life which is a slavish a slavish slavish sense of fear devoid alike of buoyancy of spirit and and of trust in god such is produced by the and then your 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 thoughts are are thoughts of death ah kapag kapag meron pa lang ganyan na yung thoughts of despair ah the spirit of slavery is oppressing you compared to the spirit of adoption as sons which is um kinuha ko na lang to no numa huyos huyos yan paklinik mo the spirit of divine divine adoption as sons hallelujah so we know in Christ you are a son of God and freed from the spirit of slavery causing you to fear. How to not not uh, to fear the future or to fear consequences, etc. Think of yourself. Set your minds on things above, right? That you died and your life now is hidden with Christ in God. Where is Christ? Seated at the right hand in heaven, right? In the heavenly places. 
And and who is who is in the left? It's Abba because Christ is in the right, right? So you are a son seated in Galatians 3:29. Uh, 329, uh, and then Galatians 4 and 2, and if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring. Heirs according to promise. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, um, nepios ito, is no different from a slave. Therefore, as a Christian, right, it's contingent that we have to grow in the revelation of the gospel, in the revelation of the sonship, in the spirit of sonship, that you know, no 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 longer a slave that you 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 the, the lord sees you not as a slave but a son though he's the owner of everything but he's under guardians and managers until until the date set by his father you know there are two uh there are two uh kinds of um uh, uh, uh mentors or teachers or pastors those who are managers who speak to you as managers and those who speak speak to you as fathers, just uh, just as like Paul said, there are many fathers. Uh, there, uh, sorry, there are many managers, but only few fathers. So, if a person is talking to you on the basis of performance, manager, yun. Oh, you have to be progressive in your sanctification. Oh, you have to do this, it, it do this. But you know what? The the pag-usapan namin actually ni Alex yun sang araw. Say ko, hey Alex, um, say ko. Um, di ba yung sanctified, right? In in the in the in the Hebrew is kodesh. It's it's kodesh. It's holy. You know, it's it's simp simply put. If you are not holy, then the Holy Spirit will not live in you. So meaning, yung state, yung holiness is not something that you do. It's a state. It's actually a person. A person which is con which is. Uh, uh, the foundation is righteousness because you are made the righteousness of God in Christ, then you are now holy. You are now complete, actually set apart. Hallelujah. So, pag, pag uh, yung manager ang sabi niya, you have to do this, you have to um, do more. But you know, those are the fruit. I'm not saying that, uh, that those are wrong, but those are the fruit of you, of your eyes being open to the, to the truth that you've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. Compared to a father which establishes you as a son, as an heir. Hallelujah. So, in Galatians 4, 3 to 5, in the same way also, when we were children, we're enslaved to, le to the elementary principles of the world. Diba? Yung do good, get good, and do bad, get bad. Yung napaka-usual nung, uh, y and we are all guilty on this, right? Yung, uh, oh, you know, uh, uh, maging ano ka, mabait ka para i-bless ka pa ni Lord. So, ang basis ng pagbibless sa'yo ni Lord ay yung kabaitan mo, which is the law. It's the elementary principles of the world. But when, but of course, right, I'm not saying na wag kang magpakabayit, but yung pag, pag, pagiging mabait is a fruit, right? And you you will find yourself actually holy and patient and uh, uh, long-suffering by accident. So, but when the fullness of the time come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. So, in elementary principles, this is the Greek word stokeion, which refers to the first principles, the letters of the alphabet, or the fundamentals, the Ten Commandments, are considered the elementary fundamentals of, of for, for children. So we are beyond that because the Lord is teaching us. Well, wala nang nagsasabi na ano, di ba? Uh, and the law doesn't say love your wives. No. The law says thou shall not covet your neighbor's wife. But under grace, the Lord is saying, husbands, love your wives as the Lord love this church. Ang laki ng pagkakaiba, di ba? So, again, spirit of slavery versus the spirit of adoption as sons. The spirit of slavery is all about you. It's the self-centered life, the I life, because you have to do you, you, the, you, the the your performance. The outcome is contingent on what you do. Versus, it's no longer you, because everything has been finished. You cannot add to the finished work. If you add to the finished work, then you're telling God it's not finished. The us life, a uh, second the spirit of slavery, a life called a life which is of uh, uh Focus on what you did for him versus a life centered on what Christ did for you. And then the spirit of slavery, it's all about your life for him. It's not about your life for him. 
but his life for you. You did not give your life to him. Parang dati, no? I give my life to you. No, Jesus gave his life for you and me. Hallelujah. And under the spirit of slavery is the self-effort tree. The spirit of the adoption of son is all about the tree of life. The spirit of slavery is fathered by lie. Ano yung mainly by, ano yung lie? <coughs> At eh, your your performance or your blessing is contingent on you. But the spirit of adoption as sons is fathered by the spirit of truth. Slavery is what you do. Sonship is who you know. Again, slavery is what you do. Just like just like in ten spies, right? We cannot go against the giants. We cannot defeat them. We 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 cannot defend them. But uh, defeat them. But yung si Caleb. It's all about sonship because it's who you know. Our God is with us. He knows. Hallelujah. Sonship is who you know. So, fathered by the truth. Paano ba yung fathered by the truth? Jesus came to reveal the name Abba so that you can experience the love of your heavenly Father. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son. Kasi di ba, he has a different spirit. Pag clinic mo yung... Uh, Spirit on its Ruach. It's the Holy Spirit, actually. The Ruach HaKodesh. Spirit of His Son into our hearts crying. It's the Holy Spirit's um, uh, job, actually. It's the Holy Spirit's mandate to uh, to open our eyes, to grow us into the revelation of our Abba. So you're no longer a slave but a son. And if a son, an heir through God. But you did not but you did not receive the spirit of fear, right? To fall back into slavery. The spirit of slavery is the root of all fears and causes you to have the wrong type or wrong picture of God. That, yung, yung wrong picture yung kanina, as, as we have uh, discussed, no? Yung about the uh, YouTube, ganyan, na uh, uh, God is, is, is not angry. He's no more angry. His anger was poured at the body of Jesus Christ. And 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 because of the finished work of the cross, now you can call your your Abba Daddy God, Abba Daddy God, Abba. Ha, hallelujah! So you're fathered by the Spirit of Truth. It's a life, the life of a perfectly loved son. Now you have this revelation, Lord, reveal to me more the life of a perfectly loved son. You know, um, I've shared this actually um, last Saturday and last Sunday in Matthew six nine. 13. This is um, uh, uh, the episode where in the, 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 the apostles, the disciples were asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. And then the Lord Jesus said, our Father in heaven. He introduced Abba to them, right? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Question, in Christ, where are you today? Where are you today? Your life is hidden with Christ in God in Colossians, right? Time and again. And where is Christ seated in Ephesians? Where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God and also in Colossians. So where are you now? Where Where is heaven? Where is heaven? Where is heaven? On earth because you're still here. So meaning you brought heaven to earth. You are heaven walking somewhere. You are heaven walking along Orchard Road. You are God's answer to, to Matthew 6, 9, 13. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's, sabi, ng, na, sabi ni Alex, parang hirap intindihan, no? pero, pero it's the truth, right? Again, where in Christ, where are you today? Your life is hidden with Christ in God. Where is Christ seated? He's seated at the right hand of God in the heavenly places, right? But but you are in Christ and where are you here on earth? So heaven is brought down because you are here. Hallelujah. So kapag dumadaan ka, tumatabi yan ng mga mga bad spirits na yan, right? You are a you are walking heaven. That's why palaging sinasabi sinasabi ni Pastor Prince, you are a blessing walking somewhere to happen. Hallelujah. So, number 2. And I believe Caleb has such a revelation that, hey, God is with me, right? So number two, has followed me fully. In Joshua 14, 8, Nevertheless, my brethren, 
who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly follow the Lord my God. So yung holy John is ma male or mala, na discuss natin last week. To be full or to be filled. The word follow is not in Hebrew. All you have is the word malati, which literally means to be completely filled. He was saying, I was completely filled with God. Hallelujah! So, si Caleb yan yan, di ba? Si Caleb, di ba? Remember, kaf, lamed, bet. Kaf is a picture of the hand and can mean to cover, to open, or to allow. Lamed is the picture of a shepherd's staff and means to have authority or control. Bet is the picture of a tent and means the house, the family, or the dwelling place and can refer to the Son of God. So, Caleb is one who allows himself to come under the authority of of the Son of God, is fully filled by God. He chooses to be in the tent, to be part of the family of Yahweh. And and we've also uh, studied yung number, right? Yung, yung calf is 20, is a picture of redemption. 30, it's it's a, 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 a number which points to the blood sacrifice. And 2 refers to the Son of, to the son of God, son, uh, Yeshua. So Caleb is the man who is all heart, fulfilled with Yahweh. And he's rewarded in the blood sacrifice of Yeshua with the promise of redemption. So by the work of Messiah, all of us will inherit more than just the land of Canaan. We have inherited everything because we have inherited Christ. Hallelujah. So I want to, I want to encourage you further in Ephesians 3, 14 to 19. I bow my knee before the Father for whom every family in heaven and on earth is named that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened, strengthened in the power through His Spirit, especially for those waiting period, especially for those um, years of waiting. Grant you to be strengthened with the power through His Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Be filled, right, with God through faith so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God just like just like what he, uh, Caleb and Joshua said, right? So to be strengthened with the power through His Spirit in your inner being, ha, paano yan? It's through hearing and hearing in Romans 10, 17, right? Hear and hear and hear and hear is the way to, being, to, uh, to be uh, filled. It's not just um, hearing, but listening, actually. Strong hearing is, is listening. Hallelujah. Listening, 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 uh, listening who? Ano yung subject? Jesus. So nadaanan din natin last week. The Mandarin word for Jesus is made, made up of four Mandarin words. Ear, hear, fish, fish, and grain. So yung first, di ba? Ear, ear, fish, and grain. And in Colossians 2.8, see to it that no one takes you captive. So we don't listen anymore to, you know, the elementary principles. Through philosophy and empty deception, according to the tradition of men, Ah, kasi ganito yung ginawa mo, ganito yung mangyayari. No, you are in Christ, you're a son, and therefore, everything will work together for your good. That's what scripture says. According to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. According to Christ, I am blessed, I am favored. Hallelujah. So, again, yung 45 years of waiting, what did Caleb do? He filled himself with God. He listened and listened and he meditated. As you therefore have received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. He, he walked, actually those years, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. And this is actually the most powerful key. Di ba naaral natin last week yung complaining? Complaining leads to depression. Complaining, complaining, complaining. Meriba lead, leads to depression. And this is now what the Lord is saying to you and I. As in this in this period, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is most powerful. Hallelujah. It's walking in the spirit. How to walk in the spirit? Hear and hear and be filled with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. The work of the Holy Spirit is to bring such a revelation of sonship. To each believer that fear is expelled and the fruit of Christ's life begins to thrive in the rich soil of a heart at rest full of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Eucharist. Remember, yung as, we, as we receive communion, right? It's Eucharist. It's the Holy Eucharist. 
thankfulness, giving of thanks. Eucharistia, it's uh, thankful of for God's grace. So every time we partake of the communion, this, uh, what we're going to do later, we we are giving thanks. We are declaring our portion. We are we are resisting the devil, right? We are we are insisting on our on our inheritance as sons. Literally, it's giving of thanks for God's grace. And then th there are two words actually um, uh, for thankfulness. Um, in the, but first, in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, thankfulness and thanksgiving, Eucharistos. It's gratitude actively, great. Uh, it's, a, it's a grateful language. To God as an act of worship, thankfulness, giving of thanks, and thanksgiving. Two words yan, you and charizomai. So yung you, you are declaring it is well. It is well with your soul. It is actually done. 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 Whatever you ask in his name, it's done. Number two, ano yung, yung kalahate? Karis. It's bestowed. Hallelujah. So when you're giving thanks, what you're actually saying, it is well, it is done, it is already bestowed. Hallelujah. So again, we go back to Numbers 14.24. A different spirit. It's actually yung ruah. Ruah hakodesh. Breath. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit which was First mentioned in Genesis 1-2. When you click on Genesis 1-2, um, the uh, in creation ito, eh, of the deep and the spirit of God. So in the spirit of God testifies to, to what? To your sonship. You're no more a slave. So in Jeremiah 1-12, the Holy Spirit is testifying this. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well. Re, uh, uh, remember, yung you, di ba? You've seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Remember, there is no word from God that will return to him. It will accomplish everything to which it was sent for. The perfecting work of the Holy Spirit allows us to see how God sees us in our glorious life in Christ. Hallelujah. It's allow, it allows us to see. So that when we when, when this happens, now you have seen well. So during times of waiting, the Holy Spirit addresses believers according to their new state. That is according to who they are now in the Spirit. No more slaves. No more slaves. Sons of the Most High God. The Holy Spirit deals with us according to reality. To the reality, He knows. He knows. Not, not according to how we feel. Even though you feel bleh, you know, and think of it. Hear and hear, hear the spirit, hear the, re the reality that you are a son, that you are an heir, that actually everything that he has is yours. He speaks to us as a new man in Christ. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 4.12, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow. So the Holy Spirit, as we hear and hear the, the word of righteousness, the new covenant words, it will change our hearts, right? And it, it will sharpen our vision. So during times of waiting, the Holy Spirit will address, again, will address us according to our new state, not according, not according to how we feel. It's according to who we are now in the spirit. And the Holy Spirit deals with us according to the reality He knows, not according to how we feel. He speaks to us as a new man in Christ. So now, church, bride of Christ, the Lord is saying, Then the Lord said to me, Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well. As we hear and hear and hear and hear, our vision is being sharpened. It's, it's now becoming clear and clear to the fact, to the, that not to the fact, to the truth. To the truth of how God sees you and I as sons, as daughters, for I am ready to perform my word. And that, my dear sisters, is there to be different.